Fortnite was the biggest game of 2019 with 15 million players at once. Now in 2030, we have 13 players left. What happened? Oh yeah, everyone quit when Among Us 2 came out. Then everyone quit Among Us when Hangman 2 came out. That was crazy. But now in Fortnite, there are some great new features. We've replaced all the in-game music with hardcore death metal. The game was too focused around children and we wanted an adult audience as well. So we introduced only death metal music, darker clouds, taxes, and 15 strip clubs. I admit that maybe we went too far. So instead, we have now put a mustache on every character to make them seem older, even the women. Actually, the women's mustaches are much bigger. Now that the game is perfect for all ages, I had a meeting with a brand supervisor. We need Fortnite to be fun for millennials. Well, what are those people like? According to stats, they like being unemployed, communism, and sushi. Okay. Replace Fortnite dancers with begging for money. Good. Replace every gun with an AK-47 so everyone is equal. Good. And replace a victory royale with one sushi roll delivered to your home. People are playing for real sushi now. Brilliant. We will be millionaires. Okay, that didn't work. Team of people who give me ideas, what you got? We could try and balance the game to make it more fair. Um, we could give away a bunch of skins for free. Hello, 911. I'd like to report a deranged lunatic. Yeah, probably a terrorist. What else? Uh, people like the mustaches. How about we make it into a more manly game? I'm listening. Replace every shield potion with beer. Wouldn't that promote alcoholism? I don't think we can do that. Replace all the water with beer. Uh, I think this is sending a bad message. Next, we had some lovely weather effects. It could snow or have strong winds or even rain. Oh, that sounds nice. Rain beer. Beer will rain from the sky. After making a trillion dollars then getting it all sued away, we went back to our music concerts. After the 2021 concert for Ariana Grande, Fortnite was the proud host of the Slipknot concert in 2022. Then in 2023, Fortnite hosted the inauguration of President Barack Obama. That was a real surprise for multiple reasons. I confess. I'm very good at video games. 2024. That year's concert was planned to be amazing. Then Jeff Bezos bought Earth, so everyone was just kind of confused for a few months. 2025. We just played the Kung Fu Panda movie. It's apparently better than every band. 2026. Kung Fu Panda 2. 2027. Kung Fu Panda 3. The original. Again, the first is just the best. 2028. A whole new kind of concert. Something that no one has ever thought of. Kung Fu Rabbit. 2029, we took it easy and revived Tupac for a live performance. And now in 2030, all 13 players get to play Fortnite for real. Everyone gets to watch a real life Fortnite on TV. Side note, we are being sued by Suzanne Collins. Once only one Fortnite player is left, the game will be officially dead and deleted forever.